New at 6, Saving Jordan. A North Providence teen is getting a new lease on life thanks to his older cousin. 18-year-old Jordan Del Ritchie has had a rough ride through life, but starting tomorrow, that could all change when his cousin Eric donates part of his liver to save his life. I can, I'll be able to walk, but I won't. But the thing is, you can't even lift like 10 pounds. It's the ultimate sign of love. 32-year-old Eric Del Ritchie will donate part of his liver to his 18-year-old cousin Jordan, who needs the transplant to survive. When I was a kid, I was out in and out of the hospital a lot. Really didn't have a good life. Jordan has endured a lot of pain. Five brain tumors in 12 years, and surgery to remove the fourth one damaged his liver. I hear him. I'm up. I hear him all night long. I don't feel so good. I don't feel so good. I'm right there with them. That's all I got. After more than two years on the national liver recipient list, a donor was found, his cousin Eric. I've lived a great life for 32 years, and my family's always supported me, and I just think that, you know, he's going to get the same support here, and he deserves that. A program finance manager at Raytheon, Eric will miss three months of work and won't fully be recovered for another nine. His family, especially his younger brother, is concerned. He's, he's kind of nervous, but it's tough because we lost our father, so if, he's a little nervous. Fundraisers like this motorcycle run will help defray the cost of the operations, which could approach $1 million. Jordan is already thinking ahead. Go back to school. Like as a kid, I never learned how to ride a bike or swim or roll a blade. This is really a heroic gesture on your part. Did you ever, that never crossed your mind? Um, I don't know. I don't... Not really. I mean, it's... Someone would do it for me, so, you know. People have said it, and I guess when you look at it from the outside, maybe that's the case, but, you know, I'm just glad I'm, I'm fit well enough, and someone needs a hand, and I'm just glad I can do something, even if it's as big as this, you know. I would do anything for my family. Tomorrow's surgery at Yale New Haven Hospital in Connecticut is expected to take at least 12 hours. We'll keep you posted on how Jordan and Eric are doing. And if you'd like some information on being an organ donor, you can go to our website, WPRI.com.